Hello guys, so today I want to show you about communication protocol using MQTT or Mosquito. So I have Nano 32 ESP board and temperature and humidity sensor to sending the data to my Mac. And then, alright, that's it. My Mac is received the data that sent from Nano 32 boards. And I want to check about built-in LED. So I will turn it off and turn it on with this command. Alright, as you can see, there is a delay between my command and built-in LED on my board. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm using my iPhone as an access point. So there must be something there, but it is okay. And I have Sparkfire SP32 and RGB LED as an output, and then SP32 Dev Board to have buzzer as an output. I want to check all of them in the same time. All right, can can you see that my? Nano 32 is receiving data. Alright, now I want to plug in my ESP32 development board with my power bank so it's not connected to my Mac. And let's see. So I'm using 27 pin as an output, so it's directly connected to the buzzer. And this is the client ID. If you want to make MQTT protocol communication, you should to make sure your boards have different client IDs so they can connect to the server. Right, that's it. And I want to check my Spark Fun board with MQTT. I will power it on with this USB cable and it connected directly to my Mac. But where is the serial port? So it must be something wrong with the USB cable, I will change it There you are. That is my serial port for my Spark One board, and I will upload this code to the Spark One ESP32 thing. And let's see. But I will change the pin on this script because I'm using four pin on my smartphone ESP32 board so I'll upload it I don't know why my Spark USB board is hard to connect to my access point. Maybe because my iPhone have um, different configuration or 
I don't know. Maybe that's why my my smartphone board is hard to connect. But I'm sure my Wi-Fi configuration, my script is is good. Right, let's see why my board. Okay, I just check in my ESP32 board, dev board. I'm sorry, it is still working, still connected. So I will change the client ID. Maybe, maybe that is the reason why my smartphone board can connect to MQTT broker. Alright, let's give it a try. It still cannot connect to my access point. Maybe my iPhone is busy. I should try to use a better router for the next time. Alright. Come on, come on. Alright, it says my board is connected to MQTT broker, but why the LED is not turning on? Oh, I forgot. Oh my god, I'm sorry. This is my fault. I'm sorry. My bad. My bad. All right, <laughs> all right. Let's try again. Give it a try. All right. I wanna check my ESP32 dev board now. Is still connected or not? All right. That's good. And my Nano32 is still connected and sending the temporary data to my mic. That's it. And I think I forgot to change the client ID on my smartphone board. I have changed the topic but not the client ID. Maybe that's why it's not giving a response when I publishing some fellow okay, let's see where is it oh my bad again I'm sorry I believe this time my smartphone board will working with grid give it a try So my Nano32 and my ESP32 dev work is still working great and 
still connected to my access point and I'm kidding the broker. Well, let's try this platform board. For your information, I have tried MQTT with MicroPython and that is awesome, more simple, but let's give it a try to this platform board now. Oh, that's cool. Wow. So I can publish the different value in different topic to all of this board and then I still can subscribe to all of them of course in different topic maybe i will try to publish that now and then i will try to do something more with mqdd and esp32 board i will turn on the buzzer let's see Alright, let's turn it on. I will send you the data right now. Yeah, I'll, that's working perfectly. And then I will try to publish the file to my nano32. So it must be great. Alright, as we can see, the delay is still exists, but I don't know it caused by my access point or my board configuration, but it is okay for now. And if you want to try all of this in your own boards, I will upload my script to my GitHub, so I will insert the link in the description below. I think it is enough, don't forget to give me a like and subscribe and if you have a question just ask me, thank you.